Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Christelle Martinet. Um, and before we start, before we start, I wanted to give you a little bit of background because um, you more than me probably are familiar with um, Shurdi Sai Baba. And I want to tell you how I came to this uh, figure, this spirit. A client of mine said to me, uh, I want you to channel Shurdi Sai Baba. And so many people, this is nothing new. So many people tell me, uh, channel this person, this person, this is, I have a list, a huge, huge list. Now, what is particular about this is that the following day, another client said the exact same thing. And so I said, okay, I've got it. And so I've worked on it and worked on it and worked on it and thought about it and thought about it. And then I said, okay, I will go live with this. I'll go live with this. Now, um, there are a couple of things that I want to clarify um, because many of you ask, how are you, how do you, how do you do this? What are you doing? How is it possible to talk to spirits? Okay. Um, and I invite them to go read about, uh, mediumship and channeling. I'm not a guru. I am a channeler. I bring you messages. I am not the spiritual teacher. Okay. That has to be very clear in your mind. It's not that what I'm saying is what I think they would be saying, but are the messages that I would receive. I, I, it would be impossible for me to, to make them up. <laughs> All right. Now, um, another thing is there's a question of whether when channelers work, are they conscious of working with their higher self or are they conscious of being a medium? All right. Now I assure you, I am absolutely 100% conscious of what I'm doing. And it's not that things come to me when I walk down the steps. No, I see signs. I have my guides. I do take into account things that uh, my spirits are trying to tell me and my guides are trying to tell me. But when I do the work, I am 100% conscious of what I'm doing. Um, then what else? Um, then a lot of questions are asked. And I've had arguments with other people when I channeled other spirits. Um, she cannot channel that soul because I'm the only one who can channel that soul, right? This is, there's nothing farther from the truth. Okay. So spirits are in the spiritual world. They can come to anyone. And, um, if you have the capability to read them and hear them, um, the intention of the channeled message and what the person is doing, what the medium is doing, rests with me, with the medium and the channeler. The issue here is that people like yourself in the public and people who come to me for channeling sessions have their own agenda and they want what to hear what they want to hear. They have their expectations and this runs counter to the job here. And that's a big part of the job that a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people want to come in, even just card reading. They want to come in. They want to hear that their uh, husband will return or that their boyfriend will come back or that they, you know, th that they will be getting that job. You know, there are a lot of expectations that have to be left at the door when you go to someone. You have to trust them. Um, then I, I, what else I wanted to say? Oh, there's an underlying, um, sense of compassion. All right. Or else we can't do this work. There is a sense of, um, humility because you remove your ego from this type of work and it has no prop purpose being there. It has no place to be there. And then the message comes. So before I start, I want to bring in, and I will have some background music that I put in my description, uh, the wheel of karma, uh, in the low, low background music that I found. Let me start by. Oh, 
Okay. So let's open. Let's open to the questions and let me see what I can see. I will be changing the scenes. There will be pictures of um, uh, the spirit here in front of me. Maybe you won't see me, but I will keep bringing the questions onto the screen. So I'll start like that. Um, uh, let's see. This is a message. This is a, I hope you can see that. Somewhere asks, how can malic malicious energy that feels trapped within a genuinely good person be cleared? Always there is malicious energy and always it needs to be cleared. Yes, it can be cleared by your intention and your prayers. Love, unconditional love. The underlying message is openness of your heart. Okay, let's see. Um, Let's see, let's see. I'll just keep on going down from the top. Uh, no personal questions, so I'll skip those. Uh, can you please ask, ask Baba if he's going to reincarnate and return back to earth to save all his devotees? No, not for now. I am a guide and a Master guide, this is my purpose and this is where my energy is best needed. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, we have Beauty Sharma. Tell Baba that I am a great devotee. Please ask him, does he receive all messages from his all bats? Can he read our mind? Yes and no. Seriously, I can read minds, but do not read your minds. I am energy. I am must, most of all, guide you. Can you understand the notion of guidance? This is what I do. Okay, let's see. Um, Okay, Rene, who has built the pyramids of Egypt? Is the one we know as are a social memory complex of the planet Venus, and why did they build it? All right, now I'm just going to take one question. All right, so let me go with the second. Um, is the no are a memory complex? Is the one we know as are a social memory complex of the planet Venus? Yes. And why did they build it? I need to tell you that it was built to give a high purpose message to humanity. After I passed, I always was a guide. Only there are many, many other guides. After they live on earth, they return to guide as spirit guides to guide humanity. Only there are things we 
cannot reveal because they are memories and as memories you alone need to revere them respect them and ponder on them and the greatness of their ultimate message whoa that was that was i think i'm gonna have to go back and listen to this one um jita rajans asks how t- to understand that you are around me when I chant your name. I'm going to have to give you a general answer, not only for you, but for anyone, please. Give a sign to everyone that they will understand you are around them and listening to them when they chant intensely. A happy question this is. Thank you. You see me and feel me when you do. If you don't, it means you are still not capable of feeling energy. It is a sort of vibration It will make you stop doing what you are doing and listen and feel. And like the messages of Morse code, light messages that have meaning, these energetic messages have meaning. Chanting is one of the ways you can increase your vibrational state in order for you to understand. You will feel me. I am there. Oh, this is intense, intense. Excuse me, but I need something to drink. Just get me back here just for a moment and, um, take a drink because I don't want to shorten the session, but I need a break every now and then. It's very draining. Very, very, very draining. Okay, let's choose the next question. Okay. Um, I, I will eliminate the questions that are similar to each other and just go down the line. Um, Priya, Priya is asking, we see that many gods in India possess or come into human body and talk. Is that true? Or that person just assumes that divine, the divine is in his body. I feel good is highest energy. I feel God is highest energy. Can I come, can God come into my body, I think is what you're trying to say, Priya. Let's see. Let's see. He's he's t- talking to me and saying, tell them. Tell them. I am a spirit. Please meditate and ponder on the notion of God. You will recall that many people say, and this is a spiritual truth, God is in all of us. That is one thing. Another thing is a spirit who had incarnated in a body at one time, who now or that now has another purpose. We do not come into your bodies, but we reverberate, we vibrate, we feel 
your vibration and you should be able to feel ours. We will not come into you. You will feel light. Light will come into your body and flow around you. I didn't think it was going to be this intense. Um, Nirvana. Nirvana is asking, please tell us where you reside. Are you on, on an earth plane or in the heavens? We answered this. How do you appear to anyone? I think we've answered both of these. Sorry, Nirvana. Um, let's see. Okay, let's see this question, which is on a different plane. Um, Jaya Prashka. Sorry if I make this crash. Hi, please ask Baba if going vegan or being a vegetarian really helps in clearing off bad karma. Yes and no. Yes, because when your body enters a state of less food or partial fasting and it seems that your forces leave the body, in truth, you become strengthened. This can pertain to a person who eats meat or is a vegetarian or any kind of diet. The truth is in the amount of fasting that will allow you to enter a domain that works with your higher self and allows you to understand many more things. This I suggest all of you to do on a regular basis. You know what I'm going to do tomorrow, don't you? First thing fast. Priya, Priya Darshini, please ask Baba, Baba, uh, that there is a tradition to write our pro problems in a paper and put it in the Shirdi temple box or Hundi. Baba, do you really get our message in that letter or is it just a wrong belief? Yes, I do. And yes, your beliefs are my beliefs. I will explain this very fundamental spiritual message but it pertains not only to me, but to all spirits that you wish to communicate with. When you ask with intention, your intention is heard, but listen, ponder to what I said. Remember, I mentioned vibration, energetic vibration. If you want a mathematical formula, it is intention plus fasting plus energetic vibration equals communication, spiritual communication. I hope you guys wrote that, write this down and write it back to me because I don't think I'm going to remember this. Okay, let's see. Um, Maha. Maha, let me put this music in the background. Um, Shirdi Baba said, he and Sai is two different persons. If, if true, is any one of the two around or with me? I'm not going to ask a personal question, Maha. Now let's just get the first question. No, they are not two different people. This is what I mean when you ask, I and Sai are two different persons. No, only one spirit. Okay. Um, K.M. Thai Baba, can we call upon you? Please give us, give specific mantra chants. My love, 
There are no specific chants. You can even invent your own chants. But since we are talking of reverberating an energy, vibrational energy, you can simply even just make guttural sounds like this. Or more humming sounds like this. And guess then that it's about vibration. Remember that key word, vibration. Ooh. Taking something to drink here. Let's go on. Um, um, people community. Baba, is it hard to reach you? Will you come to me and listen if I call you with love? Please guide us. Yes, I think we've answered this. Uh, let's see, most of them they have. Let me go on if it's, if they're personal questions, I cannot. Um, not about personal jobs. Let's see if this is a question I can ask. Bindia, Sai Baba, please tell me why the spirits of the deceased ones live, live on the same earth as humans. Why are they given so much power to make anyone's life hell if they want to take revenge? I mean, like, good question. Mm. Do you see me? I am here. I also see dark spirits both among you and around you. You need to understand that black and white are part of a balance of life. Heavy and light, all are opposites that need to be embraced. If you understand the dark spirits, you will better be able to remove them from around you, but most important, move them from influencing you negatively. Catch them and cast them away. This you can do by simply saying it. Go. Leave my body. Leave my home. Leave my environment. Do not allow me to suffer from your will. Okay, I just need to say a prayer just a second. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Dimpy. Dimpy, thank you for calling Baba for us. Can you ask Baba what is his message for all of us who are alive with you, who are live here with you and Baba? Okay. I have not only one message, but so, so many messages. I am here. It is true. And you are here. It is true. But you have to know there are others around you. Your ancestors, 
your loved ones who have passed. Remember that constantly. If you remember this, you will understand that you are never, ever, ever alone. Never, ever, ever alone. Please repeat that to yourself. Never, ever, ever alone. Okay, I think time for a water break. Thank you, Jim Dimpy, for that question. And let's go on. Um, it is, I have to say, compared to the other recent channeling sessions, especially Sushant's channeling sessions, this is very calm. It is a calm atmosphere. It is, the spirit is very, very calming, and it's calming for me as well. Um, let's go to, let's go to this picture. Maybe this one. We went to that one. Oh, okay. Now, um, Shirdi. Let's see, Shirdi. Om Sai Ram Baba. Just wanting to know if you have appeared anywhere else in India or the world. Om Sai Ram Swami. Yes, I have. You should know this because I am everywhere and nowhere. By this, I mean I am a spirit, and as a spirit, we have the benefit of expansion. We can be everywhere and in no specific place. One example will make you understand. I am being channeled. You hear me. At the same time, I am a guide, a sp spiritual guide that has a specific role and purpose for not only one person, but many. And this makes you see that our possibilities are limitless. I hope you can comprehend this. Okay. Let's see. Um, do the divine power, I think, not powder, called Duni, given in Shirdi Temple. Do you really reside in it? Okay, I understand. Because you ask, I can say what I just said again. I am sure you understand that I can reside everywhere and in your mind as well. If you think of me there, I am there. Yes, I am in the Shirdi temple. And I do see the messages. But I assure you, our spirit is expansive and limitless. Hmm. This is the first time um, that, that, that a spirit has said things like this. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Bindi, yeah. Why are the spirits so powerful to harm humans? It is injustice to humans as they cannot see them. How, why so much power is given to them? I think in part we answered, let's see if there's something left. It is true they have power, but we have 
power to. The idea here is to use it. And unfortunately, many do not. And this leaves the door open to darker powers to use their powers. You fight dark with light, prayer, enchanting, enchanting, invocations, any sound that reverberates, vibrates, can allow you to use your intention to remove evil spirits from harming you. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. Um, people, community, don't skip any questions. Keep the video as long as possible. I don't want to die in the video, please. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm, I, I'm trying to do my best. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Keep saying, don't skip any of us coming. All right, Suzanne. Let's see, Suzanne Sferrazza. Hello, Castrell and Baba. How can we reach our divine power? Will we get there? Mm, good question. Honey, I am sweet to you and everyone. If you do not raise your vibrational rate, you will not reach your divine power. Remember what I said before. I gave you a mathematical solution to a question you asked. The key word here is intention. Remember. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, Baba, have you really reincarnated at Sat Satya Sai and will you return as Prema Sai? No, not as Satya Sai. And I will not return as Prema Sai. No. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Dimpy, Dimpy. Um, okay, we've had this message before. Let me ask a question. Um, thank you, Redka. Red, Redka. Ah, uh, red car, red car. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Super Queen, others will never ever understand that ultimate, uh, ultimate betrayal and pain caused by him when I was his devotee. Sorry, I have to get rid of that. I don't know what your gripe is here. Um, let's see. Anant, rising star Baba lives in the heart, not with any structure per se. Anant, that's a comment. All right, for all of those who are asking me about their connection, I want you to um, to uh, remember the uh, message he gave with the reverberations, um, hummings, hummings. Please ask Sai Baba about the fate of our country, India. Only with spiritual spiritual strength will India be further developed. There is widespread government difficulties 
and demographic difficulties. Healing is needed and most of the work can come about through the process of raising the people's vibrational state. Let's see, um, Nilesh. Uh, Nilesh, we're not talking about Sushant, all right? Let's see. Um, thank you, FK. FK. Uh, let's see. Anant. Prasant, you can choose to do inner work on yourself in guidance of a good spiritual teacher. All right, that was a message for another one. Um, let's see. Okay, Richa. Richa is saying, Baba, what? Oops, I think I made a mess with that. All right, made it too small. What have you to say about Earth's ascension to the fifth dimension? After you pass, you ascend. But people on Earth ascend to higher dimensions. You cannot only talk of the earth. The earth as a body will not develop together. There are individuals that make it possible collectively to raise the level and the dimension they exist at and understand and receive messages from. The earth is not a place where we only live in the third dimension or fourth dimension or fifth dimension. There are those among you in this chat room that have visited regularly the 20th dimension, the 25th dimension, and the 28th dimension. It is, again, a matter of vibrational state. Okay. Let's see. Shri asks, does karma change with prayer? Yes and no. It is a matter of intention. If you pray, but with futile intentions, karma does not radically change. Okay, let's change and listen to music here. Um, RFK, are there other aliens in or outside our galaxy? Beware of this question. I would take notes now. Aliens have been created to challenge the souls of men on earth. They and you will soon see this.
they can cause much damage to a person's energetic body, mental, physical, and emotional body. Aliens are beings that initially were sent by divine, the divine, to change and allow them to be instrumental in changing humans' consciousness. But it did not happen this way. Currently, unless and before it changes, now aliens have the role of piercing through our light and positive energy. This is by far one of the most negative things I have to tell you and communicate to you. The arrival of aliens has occurred for centuries. Governments all over the world have also studied them, but the idea was that they could be a threat to governments. But indeed, governments are made of men and women. And if we choose to believe that aliens attack individuals and thus are harmful for governments, then yes. But their influence is at a much greater personal level. Okay, I'm going to have to take a two or three minute break. And I'm trying to get through to everyone, jumping around so I don't leave anyone out. And trying not to get um, overlapping questions again. Let's go back to the image here and go through your questions again. Okay, this is a recurring question and I'll bring it here just to show you that it has been, you know, asked several times. How can we attain peace in this world? And um, the response was very clear by invocations and prayer and chanting on trust. And do we need to visit Shirdi for his blessings? No, this is not necessary, but he is there and does listen. does sibling estrangement occur? Thank you. Spirits are what you consider the essence of a body that has passed. In relation to siblings, their souls have different intentions from your soul, perhaps, and this is why it occurs. There is no universal law or spiritual law that blood relations need to be always close. That is not necessary, nor always preferable. 
or even feasible. What is important is to understand when the estrangement occurs and to bless the sibling in their journey to the future. Do not harbor ill will. You will suffer if you do. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, let's go down to the bottom then. Let's see. Um, the music volume is too high. Okay, I will lower that. I will lower that. Um, let's see. I don't see Rishpa. I can't see your question. I keep saying, go look, go look, look, Rishpa. And I'm looking, but I don't see it. I don't see your question. Um, Rishpa, yeah, I don't, I don't see it. I'm looking, looking, but, um, okay. FK, who is showing number signs almost every day? It is my passed away relatives. Ah, for you. I can only give you the response, FK, in general, because it's not a private session here. Um, in general, first and foremost, they are spirit guides who try to communicate with you. Usually, your relatives or friends past will impulse you or communicate with you through dreams and vibration, energetic vibration. Numbers perfume smells, signs, flowers, animals crossing your path are usually the work of your own personal spirit guides. Okay, let's go to another scene. Um, let's see. Um, yes, Baba does hear prayers, Deepa. I, we've done this before. Um, we've answered this. Okay, we'll get the answer to this from Baba. Will Sushant get justice? I was waiting for this question. It's no joke. I truly was. I feel the questions coming. Justice is karmic. It is not a tribunal or court of law. This is the response. I hope you understand this answer. Okay. Okay, Shri asks, does Baba help change fated harsh karma to a softened one? No. Yes and no, I must say. Prayer is what ultimately helps you and your actions, your choices, your actions. An example is this. Let's imagine one day you decide to kill a person because they hurt you. 
you are put in a jail and must suffer the consequences of your action. Once you are in jail, you begin to take other actions. You take actions to help the poor, the hungry, the low in spirit, by doing specific things, asking others outside of prison to give away your riches, for example. Those are actions, and those are the things that change your karmic return. Do you understand me? It's interesting at the end of each um, at the end of each communication, the, the question, do you understand me? Um, let's see. Um, Uh, let's see. Aprant. Anant, sorry. Moshe will be attained when you have left bad habits and heal your karma with meditation and service. Yes, this is in line with what the answer just came out. Okay, Rising Star says, this is so beautiful, resonating as I just poured milk on your statue. You are venerated in my soul and house. How lovely. Um, let's see. Okay, we have Mount Saver asking about the Prime Minister. Is our Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, uh, is he the reincarnation of Yusai Baba? Many regards. No, no, and no. Three times no. I am sorry to say no, but I am not in his body. Mm, that was clear. All right, let's see, Alex. Alex is asking a big question here. Um, what is the purpose of life? What is the purpose of life? Good question. I don't know, but I do know the question of love. Man has a soul and the soul incarnates into man for the purpose of emotion. Of course, you understand that emotions are good and emotions may be negative. Life, therefore, is both good and bad at times. This is our emotional reaction to life. Remember, I mentioned black and white light and dark, as being part of a balance. Life has this balance. There is light and dark. The purpose is to embrace both sides and understand them, while at the same time knowing that your specific life at that specific time will end for that lifetime. Your purpose as a soul has a specific soul purpose, a specific divine purpose. The purpose of life is to embrace both the positive and negative. I hope you understand this because the soul has a purpose. Life really does not. Life 
as you think of it, you can imagine as a celebration, a celebration of both good and bad things, but of emotional ebullience, an emotional celebration then. Life and the purpose of life may be to experience the ebullience of your emotions. Oh, I'm going to have to go back. I will have to go back. Okay. Um, let's see. The music is making it difficult. I shut it off. Um, let's say, um, Harry, Harry Shivam. I have had a personal meeting with Baba and I drank water, which was given to me with his hands. This was in Shirdi in the year 18, 1986. Please confirm this with Baba. Yes, most definitely it was. And I will be there, as I said, always. Okay. Okay, please turn off the music. I'm sorry I didn't see this before. Um, Indian Tech Gamer, when are your, our new house will be built? Drink some water. It will be built soon. Soon. Be patient. There will be love that is at the basis of this construction and it will be reeking with love, full of love. Before I talked about ebullience of spirit, of emotions, this house will have the ebullience of love. Okay, what a calm spirit. What a calm spirit. Okay. All right, Reka. Reka, there you are. Sairam, what can be done to stop child poverty? Thank you. I'm very, very concerned about poverty in general. If children are poor, it is because they are born into poverty. And it means that their parents are also poor. Poverty is a generalized experience in many parts of the world. What we can do is to sensitize the powers that be. I am among those powers. The powers that me be mean usually people in a position of governmental decision making. But I am appealing to you as a power that is. And this must answer your question to tell you that you should never stop your chanting, praising, praying, and your mantras. And you should never stop going to the powers that be your representatives representatives in government to make them aware of difficulties speak up this is a right and a responsibility if your voices are not heard it is because 
you are not shouting. Wow. Um, okay. Bhagya, did Sadhguru's wife attend an eternal samadhi? What happened when she died? Yes, she did attend. When she died, she reincarnated. She is not a guide. No. Let's see. Now everyone wants to know when they're going to get married. Everyone wants to know. Um, okay, Rohit. Rohit, every now and then I meet someone that guides me. And I feel that it is you who came in that form, unknown, but it's a very powerful feeling that I have. I'm pouring myself some water. Does that happen to, does that happen? Is it just, or is it just my belief? Okay. Yes, please believe that it happens. It most definitely happens. Please believe you, all of you, that it happens. I exhort all of you to believe that there are guides always around you. Always. Okay. Um... This is a question from Nirvana. What is the missing link for you to appear for us? There is no link. You will not find me in a computer. This is a joke. Let us lighten our spirits. What you call the missing link is intention, the right vibration. At times, people use standard prayers. In many different cultures, they have standard prayers. And you may even buy books to find mantras or sayings or any kind of affirmations or invocations. Every person has a different vibrational rate and there are no one single formulas for all of you. If you can try when you are alone to use your voice with guttural sounds of the kind or humming sounds, as I mentioned before. Or from a sound like humming, but with air. Try this and find the right sounds for you. Usually, what works is not a series of words, but sounds and sounds that cause vibrations. This is so, so interesting. Um, so, so, so interesting. Let's see. I thank all of you for your, your um, super chats and, and your contributions. Um, now, Rohit asks, how to differentiate between a real saint like you and a con god man? They prey on the vulnerable people. 
Because you ask, I see that not only you are asking, but this question is at the basis of many people's thoughts today here with me. You see, many have and want to believe that there is a figure, an image, a representation for them to love and have them as a guide. Their expectations are the things that do not allow them to distinguish and they become vulnerable. Do you understand me? Okay. Um, I'm going to um, have this last question here. Um, did I often channel your name in writing? Please let me know. Let me ask this in a broad sense. Um, when I channel your name in writing, do you, and in writing means I, I uh, believe in automatic writing, please let me know if that works to contact you. Because this question is also the question of many of you, I must stress that channeling through humming or vibrations or guttural sounds is exactly like using writing. Whatever works for you will work for me and I hear you. Okay, um, I'm going to let you, um, I'm going to leave you. I have to leave you because then I will go absolutely crazy. But it was a lovely session. I thank you all for your support, really, from the bottom of my heart and uh, for your trust uh, more than anything else. And um, I appreciate you coming in. And I do appreciate all of the messages that you give me and uh, this, the uh, 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 the suggestions for channeling. I was asked uh, by, well, the further on, you'll see the channeling uh, live sessions that will be coming up. Um, but um, thank you for making this a wonderful session. Very calm, 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 calm. Bye-bye, and I'll be back next week. Bye-bye. Namaste.